guided meditation to heal our father wounds. Allow this guided experience to be a tool for you to get connected to the deeper pains inside from many, many years ago. If you felt ever abandoned, neglected, unlovable, unworthy, or not validated by your father. This meditation is dedicated to all the women out there that are struggling with opening their hearts to be in a deeply committed, magical partnership. This meditation is gonna support you to dive deeper into being vulnerable, to feel validated, to feel safe, to feel acknowledged, supported, to feel home, and to feel that you matter and that your feelings matter and that you're worthy of being prioritized in someone's life. This meditation is going to assist you in going very deeply into those parts that are painful to go to on our own. I've done a lot of work in this area and there comes a point in our lives where we are thinking that we still need to heal something before we can be in an amazing relationship with someone. And I'm here to tell you that it truly is an inner cultivation of you realizing that you are love, that you've been worthy all along, and reparenting yourself strengthening your masculine qualities within yourself that many times our fathers were there to teach us but if your father was absent emotionally or physically absent we didn't get that validation from daddy that only daddy could give us and so it's okay i recommend you go get a pillow to hug for this next 15 minutes or so and find a place where you can lay down and feel that you are in a cocoon of love in a nest of support your bed is an ideal place and if you're ready to be free of any insecurities unlovability if you're willing to do the deeper work, you're in the right place. Because from the moment you were created, you've always been valuable. You've been precious, miraculous, and magical all along. You are a miracle. You are so powerful. And our nature is love. You've been all this all along. But when our father doesn't provide us with the reflection of love and the validation and the support, we don't feel as worthy or valuable. And we start to make up these stories that we're not lovable, that we're not worthy, and that we don't matter. And I know this because this is what I created in my own little mind. My father was my prince. I wanted to marry my dad when I was young. And I was crazy about him. And he was crazy about me. He used to put me on his shoulder and I felt I was on top of the world when he would carry me. And then when I was 14 years old, my parents got a divorce and my father moved away to Peru. And after knowing my dad for 14 years as my dad, he was gone. He didn't really keep in touch or write letters or send my, money, my mom any money for support to raise his three children. And I felt abandoned. And I had to step it up and become an adult really fast and get a job to help my mom pay for the bills in my school. And other responsibilities were thrown at me that I was not mature enough to handle. And so I froze. I lived in stress mode the rest of my life. And I developed a lot of tension in my root and my sexual chakras. And I 
hardened my heart. I thought life had to be hard and I had to do it all myself and fend for myself. And I was really sad because I missed my father a lot. And I couldn't tell my mom that because she was really mad at him. And so I internalized a lot of sadness over many, 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 many years. And it caused me to numb out and dissociate and live like a zombie most of my early life. And I'm here to let you know that this meditation is coming out from a place of healed, whole, joy, acceptance, forgiveness, seeing everything that happened in the past through the eyes of acceptance and love. My father never meant to hurt me. He had no idea how much he meant in his own life and in my life. My father didn't have a lot of worthiness, confidence. I think my father had ADD and still hyperactivity. He had a lot of childhood traumas, my father. I didn't know any of these things mattered and affected him. I didn't know any of these things. I didn't know what I didn't know. And after doing years and years and years and years of many different types of healing, what I'm going to share with you right now is what I have found and discovered works extremely efficiently. And so I'm turning my mess into my message. And with so much passion and so much love, I'm sharing with you this experience now. And I hope you can feel my heart. So thank you, Dad. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Creator and God. Thank you, life, for teaching me so much about love and acceptance and the importance of us forgiving ourselves because ultimately we are the ones that abandoned our own selves as children from the role modeling we felt and that we made up these stories about what we mean to ourselves, what our self-worth is based on what other people did to us. And so I've learned to live my life as a sovereign woman. I choose to create how I feel about myself, regardless of what someone likes me or doesn't like me. Today, I am free. Today, I know that I am love and I'm grateful for this journey. Let's take it now. So find a place where you feel really comfortable and lean back and we're gonna create this intention that this father wound healing meditation serves you in the highest way. And you can listen to it again and again and again. And the more you practice, the more you'll be open to receiving its benefits. Lean back and feel the support of our creator. Remember that Mother Earth loves us. And you can lean back and feel so safe so supported, bringing all your awareness to your breathing. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, open your mouth. Ah. Allow your eyes to close and hug the pillow. That pillow represents your inner child, that little girl inside. And take this moment now to reflect on your childhood, taking a deep breath in, remembering yourself as a little girl. And as you start to do that, taking long breaths, exhaling, allowing every single breath to guide you to a deeper and deeper state of relaxation and openness and allowing my voice to also soothe your body. Inhaling through your nose. Exhaling. Ah. I'm gonna count from five to one with each progressive number going back in time to your childhood. Five. Relaxing so much, releasing all the tension in your body with every breath, four. Feeling so safe and so supported, three. You're ready to heal your father wounds, two. 
to let go of all the hurts in your body, in your mind, in your emotions. One, you're here now, completely focused and available to the suggestions of my voice and my message for us to heal our father wounds. And I invite you to connect to your breath, inhaling three sniffs through the nose. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Hold your breath at the top of this breath. Hold your breath and pause. Exhale. Ah. And with every ah, you're going deeper, deeper and deeper back in time. Inhale, inhale, inhale. One, two, three sniffs. Hold it at the top. Hold your breath, pause. You're doing great. Eyes are closed, hugging the pillow. Ah, letting go. One, two, three sniffs. Hold it, pause. Exhale. Ah. We're calming our nervous system now before we begin the journey. Shifting our brainwave state to theta. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Hold your breath. That's right. Slow down. In this brainwave state, you can reprogram our subconscious mind. focused on my voice and on the sounds. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale. Ah. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale. Ah. Bring your awareness now to your past and imagine that your father is in front of you. Imagining a time when you were a little girl. Be open to whatever time comes into your mind to your, based on your memories. Trust that it is the perfect memory. When I think about my father and my childhood, what memory comes up for me? Be open. What do I remember? When I tune into remembering my father. Maybe you never met your father. Maybe you don't remember. It's okay. And notice, how do you feel about your father? When you think about your father and you feel about your father and you see your father, how do you feel? about him in your body. Witness all the sensations as if you were a video camera watching yourself. You're an observer of your own emotions and sensations. We do this in a mindful way with no judgment of what we feel. Moment by moment, allow yourself to cultivate your ability to witness and observe yourself, your thoughts, your sensations as they arise. <sighs> when I think about my dad, my daddy, my father, how do I feel? Do I feel love or do I feel sadness? Do I feel acceptance and healing or do I feel anger and resentment? 
Was I proud of my father? Or was I embarrassed? Did I feel shame or guilt because of the ways that I thought about my father? Or is there a void and all I feel is cold and sad? Whatever it is, inhale, 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 feel, 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 and flow those sensations out your mouth. Inhale, 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 E3 breath. Exhale, ah. E3 stands for extension, expansion, elongation breaths. These breaths help us to process and free up hurts in the body, emotions that some of us never have even known that we're there in our bodies. You see, many of us, we stuff down our emotions and we don't feel safe enough to feel. Or we don't think our feelings matter and we hide our true feelings. Are you ready now to show yourself your true self and feel your true self right now? Yes, yes, yes. If you'd like that, say yes. Be open to feeling, even if you might feel some resistance because this is new, it's okay. Choose to be okay no matter what you feel. Allow this to be an experience and being open to experiencing more the feelings in your body when you think about your father and you think about your dad and what memories come up for you. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Trust that your body knows what to do with this meditation and my guidance. That's how wise you are. You have all this wisdom inside you. Your body knows how to heal you. When we breathe and we be present, the body just, it just heals, it processes. Do you feel that you're holding anywhere in your body? Any sadness, frustration, stress, trauma related to your father? Notice what comes up for you. Exhale. <sighs> Did I feel significant in my father's life? Did my father prioritize me and my siblings and my mom? Was my father attentive and focused on his kids? Did my father prioritize his own self-care and respect himself? Was he a man of integrity? Did he accept responsibility? Inhale, 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 and notice what comes up for you. Was my father attentive, protective? Was he a provider? Was he ambitious? Or was he absent, unfocused, unavailable? Whatever is there, take a deep breath in. Notice what comes up and allow it to flow. Processing our emotions and feeling the energy as it arises. <sighs> inhale, inhale, inhale. Feel, feel, feel. <sighs> Asking yourself, because of the way that my father was in my life or was not, what stories did I make up about myself? What meaning did I give about myself because of the way that my father was with us? What did I make up about what it means to be me and my self-worth because of my dad's presence or lack of presence? And notice what comes up for you. How do I perceive myself and my self-worth because of how my father treated us? 
What have I absorbed that doesn't help me to feel confident or empowered or loved? Notice what comes up for you. Inhale, inhale, inhale. You're doing great. Keep on feeling and flowing, breathing and creating your sounds. You're now processing, feeling and flowing, healing and becoming more and more present. This creates intimacy with ourselves. We get to learn how to be in our masculine and hold space for our own feminine to heal. Was my dad affectionate? Did I love his hugs? Was my father helpful and kind? What wounds am I holding because of my father's perceptions that I created? What have I made up in my mind that causes me to feel wounded by my father? It's our own choice as children. We chose to be wounded. We didn't do this consciously. We were so young, we didn't know any better. And now we, we know that we can process whatever we absorbed. We can liberate ourselves and we can empower ourselves and we can feel and flow and free ourselves. What am I still holding on to? What walls have I created in my heart because of all the pain? We didn't know any better way to cope with the loss or cope with whatever hurts we felt. We didn't know any better. You can tell yourself, it's okay. It's okay, I love you. And maybe it's not okay. Maybe you're feeling angry and that's okay. So take this moment right now to feel what's coming up for me. When I choose acceptance of my father, of my past, of my own judgments about my dad, and the stories I made up about what it means for me that my father was like that, what comes up for me? Do I accept what I created, my own perceptions, or am I mad at myself for blaming it all on my dad and giving my power away to my father? How do I really feel? Place your right hand over your chest, Bring your left arm out to the left side and expand your heart. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Expand, expand, expand. And then exhale. Ah. Notice how you feel in your chest. Exhale. Ah. Healing happens when we connect to our heart and we do these steps that I teach in the ALVA method, which stands for Amplify Love, Vibrate Abundance. You're in this process of self-discovery right now and you're learning how to lift yourself up instead of staying depressed and stuck in the past. What if you could trust that God Creator Source created your father perfectly for you? that you came into this earth to empower yourself and to be free. Whether or not your father ever heals, whether or not your dad ever reconnects with you, you don't have to wait for your own healing to happen. Are you willing to heal irrespective of what your father and you in this physical form are able to heal together? Yes, yes, yes. And so imagine now that you're hugging that pillow and that pillow is your father. Imagine how it would feel to hug his inner child, his little boy inside. Can you imagine what his little boy felt like when he was a child? So take a moment to just have compassion for your dad. Maybe your dad was raised and had a lot of pain as a child which caused him to disconnect and not be able to connect with his daughter, with his child, with his children and family. It doesn't make it right, but it gives you compassion. When I hug my father as a little boy, what comes up for me? 
tune into that and just let yourself process it. <sighs> I forgive you, Dad, and I forgive myself now. It's okay. I choose to forgive myself and I choose to forgive my past and I choose to be free. Inhale, inhale, inhale. <laughs> Allow this guided meditation to bring up emotions of the past, sensations, and the more you listen to it, the more you can process. There's layers upon layers of hurt and sadness for some of us, and it's difficult sometimes for us, in the first time we're listening to this meditation, to even tune in to that pain, and it's okay. We're gonna inhale, 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 keeping that left arm outstretched, right hand over the chest. Inhale and expand your heart and start to create circles of love over your heart. Massaging your chest, feeling your heart, and feeling yourself as your ideal adult parent to yourself, allowing yourself to feel the mother and father energy within yourself, reparenting this little girl inside that felt so wounded by simply feeling love and breathing in love to yourself. It's okay. I love you. If you were really mean to people or yelled at people or was super angry at your father or your mother, or yourself taking this moment to reconnect to the energy of love and acceptance. Inhale, inhale, inhale. <laughs> Exhale. <sighs> and thinking about the ideal parent, what would a loving and accepting, respectful and honoring protector, provider, feel like. We're gonna bring in our ideal parents, our ideal father, ideal mother, ideal caretakers into our own bodies. And we're gonna create what we wish we would have experienced. Can you imagine having parents that prioritized you? Parents that wanted to be so available to all your emotions that wanted to know who you really were and what you really liked imagine feeling so safe and supported and loved and acknowledged and validated and breathe in those feelings you get to create it right now that's how powerful you are and wherever there may have been woundedness you can replace that with these loving feelings Inhale, inhale, inhale. <sighs> Allowing yourself to practice every single day, hugging the pillow, feeling compassion for that little girl inside, cultivating compassion for your parents, and compassion for everyone's inner child. There's so many of us that have felt not enough, neglected, abused, traumatized. And let me know how this guided experience makes you feel. Practice every day and then journal about it, whatever came up for you. Take this moment now to give yourself a big hug. <sighs> And coming back into your body, circling your wrists and your ankles, stretching your arms and your legs. <sighs> and coming back into this room, looking around, opening your eyes. I am whole. I am integrated. I am connected. I choose to be love. I choose to accept my past and my parents. 
I choose to grow from my past. I choose to be love and acceptance in all situations. I choose to thrive from all adversities. I choose to own my power to create my new life and my new feeling in my body. And I choose to know what that feels like and strengthen it every day in every way. Allowing yourself now to feel grateful for yourself for this time that you've spent with yourself and trusting in the unknown and accepting in the past that everything that happened had to bring you to this moment so that you could be this amazing person that you are right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being open to feeling more whole, to releasing and processing the wounds of the past. Wishing you a beautiful day.